Welcome to Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers reviewed, but to the reviewer, myself. I'm reviewing a beer that I have had once before. This is Petrus Aged Pale. It is a Belgian sour style ale. Now, from um, the research I've done, what I've read, um, sour ale is uh, actually a, a German style, um, a dying style at that. This is the only sour ale I've ever seen, but this is Belgian. Um, this beer got a um, 91 on Beer Advocate, and that's outstanding. That's with 1,298 ratings. On Rate Beer, it got a 96 overall with a 74 in the style, and the bros gave it a 98, uh, which is world class. Um, the ABV on this beer is 7.3%, and the availability is year-round. This is brewed by the, uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this right, um, Brauerie uh, Bavik, I think. Um, I'm not sure. I guess the Bavik Brewery um, in Belgium. Um, here's a quick description from Rate Beer. It says, Our Petrus Pale Ale is an undiluted old beer only to be exported to the U.S. And on Beer Advocate, it said, Developed from Petrus Eau Bruin, a paler version of a traditional local style. Um, so... Anyway, this is uh, Petrus Sour Ale, it's, uh, or Petrus Aged Pale. It's uh, aged in oak casks, and it is a sour style ale. Now, I did have this once before, and I remember it being different from anything I've ever had before. This beer is definitely, I mean, it was good, but it was, it was very different. So, on the pour here, it's looking, eh. Just from the pour, slightly darker than a macro brew. Um, pretty translucent. Looks like a Bud White or Budweiser um, black crown there. But the head is uh, not too frothy. It actually looks pretty creamy. White, about one, one and a half fingers. Very clear. Moderately carbonated. Um, let's get a nose on this. It smells sour <laughs> and that's the only word I can think almost like lemon juice or lime juice um, honestly if, if this was a Budweiser if this was a macro lager and I opened it up and poured it in the glass and it smelled like this I would say it was spoiled but otherwise I mean the malt characters it's there it's a little little a little bready um, maybe that's contributed a little to the yeast I'm not sure but Mainly what hits you up front is the sourness, and it's hard to get past that because it's just something that I'm so not used to when having a beer. It smells sour. It smells like lemon juice. It smells like, um, it's, it smells, and this is, word's going to sound off-putting, but it's not off-putting. It smells very enjoyable, but it smells spoiled. But, again, I know that word makes it sound not good, but... If in any way you can imagine spoiled is smelling good, that's how this smells. It it smells aged. It smells um, it smells sour, but it smells pickled almost. I think is a good word to describe it. How pickles they have that kind of sour smell. That's that's what it reminds me of. Um, again, a little malt character, some bready, maybe some biscuitiness, but that could be contributed to the yeast. Um, I can't really pick up much. Other than that, on the smell, I mean, the sourness is just catching me because I'm so not used to it. But anyway, going to go on ahead and jump into this one. Makes my mouth pucker. This is a really sour beer. It's... You get the sourness up front right away. Bam. Lemon juice, lime juice, um, maybe almost like how orange juice, like when you first take a sip, it has that just sourness that just, and then after that, um, you can taste, it's funny, it says it's uh, aged in, in oak casks, you can taste a little bit of that oakiness on the back end, that kind of bready maltness, um, there's a little bit more of a, like a spice there, like an herbalness, like... Um, maybe, um, God, maybe like, um, 
it's kind of a spiciness there. Uh, black pepper slightly, maybe. I mean, um, oh wow! Again, it's excuse me. It's very different from anything I've ever had except the one other time that I had it. So it is very different than any any beer I've ever had. It's, I mean, it's sour. It literally, when it said sour ale, I thought, okay, well, you know, what's it's sour. It is sour. It tastes, it's like lemon juice. It is sour. It is good, though. It's so enjoyable. If you like lemon, like me, like when I make, like, Kool-Aid or anything like that, <clears throat> excuse me, I put a little bit of sugar, a little, just a touch. I like that sourness. <clears throat> excuse me, I find it very refreshing. So this beer, excuse me, is really good to me. I mean, this is the, and I've looked, I've asked around, I've been trying to find other versions of this style of beer, and I can't find them. This is the only one I'm able to find in my area is Petrus. It's the only, or Petrus, or Petlus, or Petlus, or however you pronounce it. It's the only um, aged sour ale I can find. If I can find more, I'll be glad as a matter of fact, if you know, if I live in North Florida, if you know of around here any other sour style ales that I could get a hold of, comment below, let me know. I want to find them. I want to find out about them. But, I mean, you know, I can't even think of how to describe this beer. It's just so different from everything I've ever had. But it's really, really good. sour but enjoyable again though if this and it almost sounds off-putting but it's not it's there's nothing bad about the taste there's nothing offensive it's good it's really good it's really different but if this was a macro lager if i assumed this was going to taste or, or, or not even a macro lager if this was like a european style pilsner stella or um heineken or um palm or leffa if this was just um, you know, some type of kind of blonde, pale lager like that. And I picked it up, and I opened it, and I took a sip, and it tasted like this. I would spit it out, because I would think there was something wrong. But knowing that it's a sour ale, it's like, oh, man, I can enjoy this. There's something really, really good. And I know that makes it sound off-putting, but I can't, honestly, this beer is just so different, I can't put it into words. It's like lemon juice, lime juice... A little sweet, bready, biscuity malt. Really enjoyable, really refreshing, very different. I'm going to give this beer... Honestly, I wouldn't even know how to grade it in the style, because this is the only one I've ever had. But, I mean, just overall for how I like this beer, I mean, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. If you see this beer, pick it up and have your mind blown, because <laughs> this tastes... So different. I mean, just, just any beer I've ever had. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten for the the um, the Petrus aged pale sour style ale. If you see it, pick it up. It's a really really good beer. It's really different. It'll blow your mind. You know, unless you've had this type of if you've never had this type of beer and you have it, I promise you it will blow your mind. So um, thank you for watching. Keep watching again for more reviews. Excuse me. Uh, until then, post.